Planet Fitness. Known to be the gym chain that serves free pizza, has no barbells, and sets off an alarm if you grunt too loudly. So apparently majority of their members don't use a gym within a 30 day period. So how great of a workout can we actually have at a place like this? Well, we're here to find out. Similar with the Equinox video, I think we're gonna have to be very discreet with where we're recording and stuff. So that's gonna be the first hurdle we face. So let's get inside. All right, so we made it inside, taking a look around, it's just a bunch of machines, just as we imagined. I'm gonna find some sort of chest machine to work on, see how it is. And then we found a really good corner where I can pose later. So if we have time and we don't get kicked out, that would be on the agenda. Now I'm gonna be lifting up my usual intensity. Let's say on a scale of one to 10, one being like a grandma, 10 being like a trend cleanse. I'm probably like a seven, you know, I do a little bit of tasteful grunting, so we'll see if I just go through all my normal workout with my normal intensity. We'll see if they actually stop me, so. for that one. It's just my first set. And what I'm gonna do is my second set, I'm gonna train to failure. We'll see how that goes. This machine, same machine that they have down at U of I. One of my favorite machines. I actually prefer this over the plate loaded one just because it's easier to adjust the stuff. I wasn't expecting to see this here. Second machine we're moving on to is this diverging pull down. I'm not a fan of this exercise personally just because I feel like it's a little bit awkward. So it's this or a lat pull down. I don't wanna use a lat pull down because everyone knows how a lat pull down feels, but let me give this machine a try so I can give y'all my live opinion on this. take the jacket off. It's cold as balls right now in Chicago, so that's why I have it on. And make sure I'm warming up properly. One thing I will say about this place is it's super cheap. It's literally like $10 a month. I definitely respect it since this gives a lot of people that accessibility to actually going to a gym. $10 a month, you really can't find anything much cheaper. Now, if you guys are unfamiliar with the diverging pull down, essentially it is akin to a wide grip lat pull down meaning we're gonna be biasing the lower lats. Now, this divergent pull-down machine is not unique to Planet Fitness, but it was one of the only back machines that they had, so I wanted to try it out. Now, moving on, I'm trying out this unilateral overhead tricep extension with the cable set up high. Normally, I do this exercise bilaterally, but because of the results of last week's creatine video where one arm was stronger than the other, I wanted to try the single arm setup. Ooh. I like doing these overheads when when I'm at time. I feel like I can get a lot better balance than just like hunching over. Sometimes when I do overheads from above with two arms, I feel like my body weight's just pressing the weight forward. Doing it unilaterally, I feel like I just have more control over not using my body weight to kind of help me out, so. So I'm going through this upper body workout right now, but if you're kind of like, uh, I don't really even know what, what workout I should be doing in the first place, 
and I highly recommend you apply to my exclusive one-on-one -on -one fitness coaching program. Essentially, I'm gonna be giving you personal guidance on how to actually get to your fitness goals. So if that sounds interesting to you, check out the testimonials and apply in the link in the description. I'm running a Black Friday sale that pretty much just ended, but maybe I can do something special for y'all. So. Honestly, in my experience so far here, just like any other gym, we have cables, machines, dumbbells. I guess I'm realizing I don't really do a lot of barbell movements these days, so I don't really feel that impacted. But let me try to get a dumbbell movement in next. All right, so right when I said that, I found out they don't have a preacher curl rest here, so we're gonna have to improvise and use this actual bench. Kind of sucks, but we'll make it work. After that creatine test, my right bicep right now is like a little bit sore, so I need to go a little easy on it. Easy. Ooh. I wish they had like 32 and a half. So I think 35 might be a too big of a jump. So I'm gonna stick to these 30s. So I'm gonna go for nine next set, see how it goes. exercise they don't have a t-bar row or like chest supported row where I can do um, kind of like a mid back focus row so I'm gonna be doing that on a Smith machine here I know I talk trash a lot about bent over rows but I think doing it on a Smith machine is actually a lot better than barbell it's much more stable so I think it is the best option we have today If you're a beginner, then you probably won't run into any issues, but for someone like me who've been to bigger gyms with more equipment, it's, it feels a little bit limiting. So, so far though, I haven't really ran into any issues. No one really like bugging me about putting my pump cover back on or something like that, or no one really complaining with me being too loud. So I might just be at like a more chill location or something. My experience so far. So can you actually have a good workout at Planet Fitness? I say yes. 
Equipment is a little bit limited, of course, no barbells and stuff, but machines are all in working order, all pretty decent. You can train pretty hard, no one really stops you. So I think a lot of the stereotypes that Planet Fitness has has been kind of debunked, at least in my personal experience. There's so many different locations, so it might be different at like a different location. Overall, good, accessible, cheap gym. So that's the final verdict. And that was Planet Fitness. Now, would I come back here? Probably not, just because I think there's better options with more equipment at pretty much at the same price. I got a couple looks, of course, with me recording, which is normal. But for the most part, I don't think it's a terrible gym. You can have a pretty good workout here, especially if you're not like a power lifter. Like this place would be fine for most beginners. With that said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave a like to support my page. If you want to see more content similar to this, subscribe to Tyler Path's YouTube channel. And let me know if you guys wanted me to check out different gyms across the country. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.